from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. One of the new products on display at the Africa Aerospace and Defence 2014 exhibition last month was the Testudo unmanned ground vehicle. Keith Campbell reports. The Testudo has been developed by local enterprise CMTI from its DT100 machine in a joint project with DCD Protected Mobility. Dr. Danny Berger, CEO of the CMTI Group, Tell us about the Testudo. The Testudo machine is based on our multi-track platform, which we refer to as the DT100 machine. It's a multi-track machine with four tracks individually driven by uh, eight motors, where four motors is used to drive the tracks and four motors is used for the swinging action, as you have seen on the video. The power source is a lithium ion uh, magnesium phosphate battery, 40, uh, 45 to 60 amp hours giving us a range of in the vicinity of seven to nine hours of operating time. The machine is a, is a multi-terrain high mobility machine. It's limited to six kilometers an hour for remote control. In the moment we can go to autonomous control, we can go to international standards, which is 10 kilometers an hour. Uh, the capability of the machine is, is really exceptional in terms of all terrain capability. Obstacles of 400 millimeter is totally not a, a obstacle as we use the motion, the swinging motion of the of the tracks to uh, to cross these obstacles. Uh, loose underfoot conditions not a problem. The tracks that we use is full blown commercial excavator tracks. It's uh, the smallest track that you can get in, in the excavator size. It's a rubber track with steel inserts which is giving us excellent robustness and reliability on, on the life of the track. We designed the machine as a, as a power platform with a, with a universal interface and it depends on what we want to do with it. The, 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 the uh, main functions that we intend for using it is for landmine clearance and landmine detection, so basically a uh, robotic type of arm on it with your landmine detection. As the machine is currently set up, it's with a tower, with a, uh, a weapon system on top of it. Um, then it can be used for uh, uh, evacuation, reconnaissance, cameras, underground in the mines. We're already using it for reconnaissance and for inspections with, by means of, of uh, with cameras. So it's a, it, the, the applications for the machines are actually as wide as you can think. It depends on, the machine's got a payload of 180 kilogram. And so the, your limitation is what you can put on the machine in terms of, your, of, the, of the load carrying capability of the machine. DCD Protected Mobility's technical manager, Willy van der Leon, explains his company's interest and involvement in the Testudo program. So we at DCD Protected Mobility are responsible for the Husky mine detection vehicle. And this mine detection vehicle would typically use a head of a convoy and once it's detected the landmine, it then needs to have a method of removing the landmine. The Husky would typically reverse out of that danger situation and would call on the service of a robot. The robot will typically then come around the Husky and start digging, analyzing, and ultimately neutralizing the landmine. For this purpose, DCD Protective Mobility has a particular interest in looking at the DT100 and turning that into a fighting machine that's now the Testudo, uh, the vehicle that's now aimed at mine clearing. Uh, it, and, and we really believe we can have it also do different functions for the engineering core as a combat tool. Other news making headlines this week, an intervention aims to alleviate student accommodation shortages and a South African project management and quantity surveying firms form a partnership. There is a significant shortage of accommodation for students studying at universities in Gauteng, but the Student Accommodation Fund, a new program by the Gauteng Partnership Fund, aims to provide more accommodation through project funding. As government, there was no intervention in, in, in student accommodation, so it was thought that best that GPF intervene on behalf of government in, in student accommodation. The fund operates as all the other products in that we are a mezzanine funder, 
Uh, that means we sit between equity and, and the senior funder. We will fund up to 30% of every project. Uh, total project includes acquisition, transfer, ref either refurbishments, conversions or even uh, construction. And in student accommodation we also pay for the furniture that needs to be provided to, to the students. That's a standard a one bed, a desk, a cupboard and then the communal facilities in terms of the lounge. South Africa-based international project management company Planning and Cost Engineering Services and quantity surveying and construction cost consultancy Basson and Close Quantity Surveyors have entered into a strategic partnership to expand their footprint and client base in Africa. Our partnership is basically the bringing together of uh, two specialist organisations. Quantity surveying on the one hand, cost engineering on the other. These two organisations have a proven track record in their respective fields and we by bringing them together are making sure that we have an offering that our clients have a, a natural affinity with because it's something they've been talking about and asking about for quite some time. Finding the right partner is probably why it hasn't happened sooner than now but now that it has I'm delighted that it is in fact in place. Both companies are specialists in their fields and it is important for us to look at where the market is at the moment and especially Africa. So for two companies bringing two unique sets of services together brings a lot of value add to our prospective clients uh, and taken one step further if we understand the spirit of Africa being locals here combining with our services we've got a great future together. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.